You wondering which ESL teaching method you should use in your class? Here are three best method that I'm also using in my class right now. Welcome on the channel, I'm Mike and I'm here to help you with your English class. Today's video is about the three best ESL method that I'm using in my class. And if you're wondering what are they, just let's jump into the video. Method number one, total physical response. Yeah, well known as TPR. This is for sure the method that ESL teachers use the most in their classes. And it's my favorite method. TPR means total physical response. It is a language acquisition method developed by James Asher, professor in psychology. This method combines language and physical actions to engage your students in the language learning process. A kind of body language. Peel banana, peel, peel banana, chop banana, chop, chop banana. TPR can be used in different ways and moments during class time. It can be used during warm up activities to get students up and moving. It's a method that you have to use in your class because students do not feel nervous or shy to speak when using TPR. 2. Visuals and Realia The word Realia comes from the Latin language which means the real things. You might have been using this method especially with young learners from 3 to 8 years old. When you're teaching brush your teeth, you've probably brought a real toothbrush or toothpaste. That toothbrush in an ESL classroom is called Realia. It's an authentic object from real life and it can be visual or physical. You're probably wondering why using visuals and realia. It's just because they are more dynamic than written words on a flashcard or a flashcard. And they're used to teach a concept and make the learning experience more memorable. For online teaching, it's a great visual help to engage your students. They'll be more interesting in your class. Using Realia is a great technique to help your students learn. 3. Role Play As an ESL teacher, using the role play method is important for your students to understand in which situations they can use the language items they have been learning previously. And I'm using them a lot. In your lesson plan, this method is likely to be used in the production part. The role play method allows your students to use the language items in a real situation, interacting with another student in front of all the classroom. Use your imagination as a teacher to create a simple environment in the classroom by using realia or flashcards. For example, for example, if you are teaching animals, especially wild animals, just use puppets or flashcards and set them up around the classroom so that the students can walk around asking each other, what animal is that? It's so cute. Do you like lions? Make sure they don't forget to greet each other and say goodbye when leaving. Just like real life situation. Hope you like the video and hope it's gonna help you with your English class. Subscribe, give some likes, and I'll see you in another video. That was Mike from Mike's Home ESL. Happy teaching.